The Department of Energy's Inspector General has opened an investigation into alleged retaliation at the multi-billion dollar government lab located alongside Hanford. A veteran lab manager says she was ousted from her job after refusing to go along with a cover-up at the site. As King 5 investigator Susanna Frame reports, the manager hopes the investigation will lead to getting her job back and holding the powerful accountable. Pacific Northwest National Laboratory cultivates interdisciplinary collaborations. This glossy government video promotes all that's great about the Pacific Northwest National Lab, PNNL in Richland, where scientific discoveries are made supporting Hanford, energy issues, and national security. It just isn't, it just isn't ethical. It's not honest. But according to this 30-year employee, there's a shady side of the lab that needs to be exposed and changed. Me, I'm an honest and ethical person. That's what I've built my 30 plus years reputation on at the laboratory. And so don't put me in that job if that's not what you want. Alita Busselman's job was to investigate problems at the lab like accidents, spills, or fraudulent activity. She managed a team specializing in getting to the bottom of why events happened to make sure they didn't happen again. Last year's problem? Find out how the accounting department got tricked into paying more than a half million taxpayer dollars to a fraudulent contractor. My whole goal here is the truth. I want the truth. Here was her team's truth laid out in a March 2017 report. Lab managers blew it. They wrote management didn't have the right controls in place to prevent fraudulent activities. How confident do you feel that that was the root cause. I'm very confident in that. The managers weren't so confident. Busselman wrote this email to her boss after she says she was pressured to change the findings. We do not just let concerned stakeholders manipulate our reports to make us sound better, she wrote. I'm not going to make this team sign a product they can't stand behind. And by Soon after, her boss had a new message for her. My manager basically told me that, you know, hey, I'm going to do a reorg and I have a new opportunity for you. Busselman says that really meant you won't go along with what the lab wants, so you're out. Here's a job in a shabby corner with next to nothing to do. She hired attorney Jack Sheridan to file a retaliation complaint. We're paying their salaries. They work for us. And so I think we have a right to demand integrity and honesty in every process they do. So whatever happened to that report, the one Busselman refused to change, it got changed anyway. The next month, the theft wasn't the manager's fault, but the lab's owner, the Department of Energy. DOE's annual risk statements had us focus on internal fraud risks, not from people outside the lab, like a contractor, so our processes were less than adequate. But I want them to have, the scientists and engineers, to have a safe place that's secure and ethical, just like we say in all of our value posters all over the laboratory. I want that. So what she means is that if those cause reports are changed and don't really get to the bottom of whatever the problem is, that problem is going to happen again. Now, a spokesperson for Battelle, that's the contractor which operates the lab, they sent me an email this afternoon to say they completely they disagree, and they're saying that Alita's accusations about being retaliated against simply are not true. Now, this was a big letter that she got from the Inspector General's office uh, just a couple of days ago. And they will be investigating, and she says that if this doesn't lead to her getting her job back and kind of seeing things righted, then she goes to the next step, which is to sue Battelle. All right, Susanna, thank you. Sure.